An emotional, heart-wrenching day in court as witness after witness describes living through the nightmare of the 2018 Antioch Waffle House shooting. Welcome to News 2 at 10. I'm Haley Wilkes. And I'm Bob Mueller. It's been almost four years since that mass shooting that claimed four lives. The man on trial, Travis Reinking, is indicted on 17 counts, including four counts of premeditated first-degree murder. Ryan King entered a not guilty plea by way of insanity. He sat silent in the courtroom as victims and families shared their stories. For the first time, we are seeing video and pictures from inside the restaurant in the aftermath of the shooting. Shattered glass, bullets, belongings of those who either died in the shooting or left them behind in the frenzy. We are also hearing the story of James Shaw, the man who wrestled the gun away from Ryan King. It's compelling video showing those tense moments that stopped the rampage. We want to walk you through those moments and we warn you the video is intense and could be disturbing. This video capturing those mere seconds where a half-naked Ryan King charges through the restaurant. Shaw emerges from behind a door and throws Ryan King to the ground. They grapple for a few seconds. Shaw slams Ryan King against a glass window. He is able to wrestle the gun out of Ryan King's hands. It's then that Shaw's right hand is burned by the barrel of the gun. In a second, Shaw throws it behind the kitchen counter. Ryan King continues to fight with Shaw, and Shaw forces the gunman out of the front door and into the parking lot. In the meantime, two employees are huddled beneath a counter while the gun lays on the floor behind them. Moments later, Ryan King is again captured on video, shedding his jacket and running away. Shaw then walked the jury through the moments you just saw. I take him and I'm kind of choking him with my left hand. And I'm pushing him and I'm pushing him out the way. And he kind of goes for my left hand. And as he goes for my left hand, I take my right hand off. The, I take, I, you still use my right hand. I take my left hand off of him. And I'm just pulling up, pulling up, and pulling up. And I finally get the gun. And I throw it. And I watch the gun look like it was in the, in the, in the, in the air for days. And I just watched it glide and glide and glide, and it finally went over the bar. It was only after Ryan King fled the Waffle House that the gravity of what just took place sunk in. Shattered glass, bullets, blood all over the restaurant. James Shaw said in the aftermath, there was no screaming or crying, simply silence. And we want to hear those emotional stories from survivors and their relatives. News 2's Allie Lynch walks us through that heartbreaking testimony. Allie. Haley Bob, while we've heard from a number of witnesses today, Judge, Judge Fishburne says there are more than 60 expected to take the stand throughout this trial. One of those witnesses who took the stand this afternoon was Abede Da Silva. He was with his brother Aquila Da Silva when Aquila was shot and killed. Abede walked the jurors through the events of the night. He, Aquila, and their girlfriends had just enjoyed a night at a hookah lounge and went to the Waffle House for food. Not long after they arrived, gunshots rang out. Abadi fled to the right of the building while Aquila ran to the left. It was only when the gunshots stopped that Abadi was able to safely leave the bathroom. That's when he found his brother. Um, he was just yelling my name. He was um, just telling me he was in pain. Um, I was just laying there with him, just letting him know that everything's gonna be okay. I just laid there with him. I, I didn't want to hurt him, so I just put my arm like by his back, and I laid there with him. And I just looked him in his eyes, and I was like, you're going to be all right. And some of the more chilling testimony we heard was from Sharita Henderson. She was shot three times, once in the arm, once near her lung, and another time in her leg. She described how Travis Rinking looked her right in the eyes. He didn't say anything, but... He looked at me in my eyes and he was determined. Like he knew what he was doing and what he planned to do. Um, and I'm sure my eyes looked like I was begging for mercy without saying anything. Uh, and he shot me anyway. Now those injuries have healed but have forever changed her life. To this day, Henderson still needs assistance walking. Bob. 
Thank you, Ellie. News 2 is tracking this case step-by-step step online at WKRN.com.